And a clock. All right, please stand for pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one Motion. On the question, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Opportunities for the public to address the board agenda items only. Okay, thank you. Proclamation presentation 230248. Uh, I just want to thank uh, Leslie and, and, and Steve for the great job they've done in, in Scranton, and uh, particularly with the Completion or near completion of the pocket park. Uh, they really did a. Probably can hear you. You moved your oh, mic away. Okay. They were, thanks, Steve and Leslie, for the great job they've done in, in Scranton, particularly with the pocket park. Uh, they've done a great job with that. Uh, they were the driving force behind that. And uh, uh, Commissioner Shermack is going to uh, read the proclamation. Thank you. Okay. Whereas today we celebrate Scranton Tomorrow's mural arts program, including the latest project, The Office. The story of us by Hagopian Arts, supported by Universal Television and Peacock, and the co contribution it made to our local economy by enhancing tourism and showcasing the cultural and history of our community and enriching our quality of life. And whereas Lackawanna County Visitor Bureau cites The Office, the hit NBC comedy set in Scranton, Pennsylvania, as one of the region's most popular tourist attraction and a significant economic driver for Lackawanna County. And whereas in 2022, nearly 70,000 people visited Lackawanna County uh, Visitors Bureau's website, visit napa.org, in search of the office self-guided tour map featuring dozens of businesses and historic landmarks referenced in the show. And eight out of the 20 most frequent Google searches involving Lackawanna County includes the office. Whereas local business leaders, community partners, and individuals have consistently demonstrated their commitment and support for helping Lackawanna County and Northeastern Pennsylvania continue to prosper and grow through collaborative public art projects developed through Scranton Tomorrow's Mural Arts Program. And now therefore we, Jerry Notariani, Debbie Dominic, and Chris Shermack, Commissioners of the County of Lackawanna, Pennsylvania, do hereby acknowledge and proclaim October 6th as Office Day in Lackawanna County. So thank you. Thank you. Leslie, would you like to say a few words? Good morning. Can you hear me? Okay, perfect. Um, commissioners, thank you so much for inviting us here today. Um, it's always a pleasure um, to, to come to the commissioners meeting. Um, I know I'm here to talk about the mural, but I, I would like to just say one thing about the pocket park, if I may, since you did mention the pocket park. Um, I always talk about the, park, the pocket park in the sense of um, an amazing public-private partnership. And I think it's very rare for a region to be able to bring together um, county, city, and nonprofits together to bring a project to fruition. Um, each organization and entity really played a vital role in the development of the Pocket Park. And without one of those partners or two of those partners um, or all three of us collectively, <clears throat> excuse me, coming together, the Pocket Park really would never have been brought to fruition. So thank you for all of the work that your county departments um, uh, lent to that effort because without that um, and without the remediation process led by um, one of the county departments that would not have happened. So thank you very much. Thank you. <clears throat> but okay, with that, would you like to come up here? Yeah, we'll do a, Steve, would you like to? Oh, they can oh, talk oh, about yeah, the mural? Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to say a few words about the mural, and then I am going to, if you don't mind, just hand it off to Steve Ward to give you oh. a little bit more information. Um, but like I said, always um, we're so thrilled to have a partnership with the county and to have that support. So as you know, we um, have recently completed our fourth mural, um, and we could not do that without the support of the county as well. Our fourth mural is by far our largest mural, and we believe 
probably the most impactful mural for all of the reasons, Commissioner Shermack, that you read in that proclamation. We do believe that this mural is going to be a major tourist attraction, and we're very excited about that. Good. On Friday, <clears throat> October 6th, we will embark on the the public dedication of the mural. So we are inviting the entire community, all of our office fans, um, to come to an outdoor public setting. Um, it is on the back of the Community Bank building, which is on Lackawanna Avenue between Community Bank and Coney Island. Um, you can't miss it if you drive down Lackawanna Avenue, so it's an easy spot to find. Five o'clock, Marco Marcinko will be performing his jazz uh, with his jazz quartet. 5.30, the official dedication will take place. And from 6 to 7 p.m., we will have a meet and greet and question and answer session with the artist Kala Hagopian from Hagopian Arts and her, her um, assisting artists. So we're very excited about the dedication. Um, like I said, we do feel that this is going to have significant impact for our community and really showcase the relationship that that the office um, television show does have with the city of Scranton. Um, so now I just want to ask Steve Ward, our project manager, to give you a little bit more information on the process and hopefully the outcomes of the mural. Thank you very much, commissioners, for the proclamation. October 6th really is a culmination of two and a half years of work from concept to reality. We worked through some proofs, we selected the artist, but we also worked with NBC Universal uh, because we wanted this to be credible and licensed and we wanted it to really be a true reflection of the show. Uh, two things that I would really like to highlight though, as, as the office is set in Scranton and that's the focus, Lackawanna County was mentioned close to a dozen times throughout the course of the show. So it's not just Scranton, but it really is Lackawanna County. But also uh, what I hope to, to come out of this mural really is uh, representation and equity and diversity. Six of the main characters that are on the, uh, the mural are communities of color, uh, uh, somewhat uh, uh, overlooked communities. So we really want that representation that as the face of city change, as face of the city of Scranton changes and the county changes too in terms of demographics, we can highlight and lift up all the communities there. So greatly appreciate your support and encouragement and the proclamation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Would you like to come up here for a second? And Oh, what's up, Liz? Not much. Good to see you. I'll wait to get to be my age. <laughs> I'm not <Okay>. far. <laughs> you look great. You did a good job. Oh, well, Step this way, please. Step this way. Thank you. For your thank you. Yeah. A little smile. A couple. Thank you. 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 Approving the current payables, be it resolved, the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County is hereby approve the following payables. Lackawanna County's general fund numbers at 36305-363373, inclusive totaling $3,256,592.03. The county's electronic fund transfers, including all payroll accounts, totaling $4,524,287.00. And 65 cents. Adopted a regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on October 4th, 2023. Mr. Chairman. I'll uh, entertain a motion. I'm sure everyone's had a. Um, yep, I'll make a motion. Second on the question. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Resolution 230249. It's the awarding of the risk management consultant. Be it resolved. The Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County is hereby award the risk management consultant to the C3 Group LLC, a two-year agreement with an option to extend to commence October 1st, 2023 and cost $39,000 in the first year. Adopted a regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on October 4th, 2023. Mr. Chairman, here to speak upon that is our Chief Financial Officer, Mr. David Bolzoni. Uh, commissioners, good morning. The uh, retention of a consultant for risk management is really to try and reduce costs that are associated with all forms of insurance outlays 
um, presently the responsibility of the county. So just as an example, the county expends <clears throat> greater than $1 million annually for insurance, which includes workers' compensation and commercial insurance. So in addition to a thorough review of our policies, the consultant can also recommend policies and procedures designed to reduce our cost of insurance. So I had gone through this pretty thoroughly uh, with our, our uh, risk manager, Mr. Judge, and we, we believe there are savings that can be, in cover, uh, that can be uncovered and, uh, and implemented by the county, so I would, I would strongly recommend the approval of the, uh, the retention. Okay. Anyone have any questions for Dave? I'll entertain a motion to approve. Uh, motion. Second on the question. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Resolution 230250. Approving the agreement for a utility audit. Be it resolved, the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County is hereby enter into an agreement with Renotis, ER, LLC, to review and analyze any utility telecommunication internet data billings. Agreement shall be in effect from the date of execution by parties through a period of 24 months with an option for a 12-month extension. Adopted a regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on October 4th, 2023. Mr. Chairman, once again, here is the CFO, Mr. Dave Bolzoni. And the purpose with the retention of a uh, utility forensic audit <clears throat> auditing firm is very similar. We're really looking at trying to uh, to reduce what I would call structural costs. And in this case, the, uh, the, uh, the review and evaluation of utility bills uh, is generally to try and determine whether the billing is accurate and whether the, the cost outlay on behalf of the county is really what we should be paying for those services. The analysis includes electricity, natural gas and telecommunications bills. So it's going to be fairly comprehensive. So just as an example, the county receives 71 electricity bills each month, which is a very significant number. We receive 18 natural gas statements. The total cost for electricity in 2022 was, was greater than a million dollars, natural gas over 200,000. So, in a rising cost environment, which we're certainly aware we are in, I think conducting a forensic review can assure billing accuracy and, and create some savings. Um, and so this isn't just reviewing the statement to make sure that it's presented properly. This is digging down into exactly how the utilities are constructing that statement to make sure that cost outlay on our end is accurate based on what the statement should be saying to the county. Um, the, the firm's cost for the retention is really based exclusively on the savings. If there are no savings, there's no cost. So if there's a savings, the firm is compensated based on those savings. So the percentage basis would, that would be allotted to the firm would be 18% of whatever those savings would be over a two year period. In the memorandum that I provided for the commissioner's review, it gives you an example of exactly what that cost would be based on projected savings. Thank you. Anyone have any questions? I entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Second on the question. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Resolution 230251. It's approving the PCCD grant. Be it resolved, the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County is hereby approved the submission of the 2024 Residential Substance Abuse Treatment Grant by the Lackawanna County Treatment Court <clears throat> to the Pennsylvania Cri Commission on Crime and Delinquency in the amount of $266,668. Adopted a regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on, held on October 4th, 2023. Mr. Chairman, here to speak upon as the Treatment Court Project Mant Director, Mr. Gregory Butts. Good morning, commissioners. So this is a, uh, a grant that would um, help cover costs for MAT treatment in the Lackawanna County Prison. Uh, I was working with uh, Colleen Orzel, and um, you know she was. You know we really want to grow that program. Barb Durkin wants to grow the program, um, and I know that uh, costs right now are being covered by the county, I believe. So this would help offset those and help us to grow that. 
Uh, in particular, they want to try to grow the, uh, the sublocate shot, which is an expensive shot. It's around $1,800 uh, per shot, but it's a very effective treatment. Um, this grant would also help cover uh, some bridging for folks who are in reentry to allow them to uh, be able to uh, get treatment uh, as they go into reentry so that they don't have large gaps in their, uh, you know, in their MAT treatment. So we believe it's a very valuable uh, grant. It's a 24-month grant, begins uh, January 1st, ends the last day of December in uh, 2025. Good. Thank you. Any questions? I'll entertain a motion to approve. I'll make that motion. Second. Other question? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Greg. Resolution 230252. <clears throat> Ratifying the office agreement. Be it resolved, the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County is hereby ratified a professional service agreement for the Office of Youth and Family Services with the Pennsylvania Department of Human Services Child Welfare Information System data sharing agreement to commence October 1st, 2023 and expire in December, September 20th, 2024. Adopted regularly by the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on October 4th, 2023. Mr. Chairman, here to speak upon that is the Director of Human Services, Mr. Bill Brown. Bill. Good morning, Commissioners. Uh, this agreement uh, allows us to use the mandated uh, software uh, from the state to report abuse and neglect it ensures that we're following industry standards, security requirements, et cetera. All right. Thank you. Uh, I'll entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Second on the question. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, Bill. Resolution 230253. Approving the OIFAS contract amendment. Be it resolved, the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County is hereby approved the contract amendment for Families United Network with the Office of Youth and Family Services for the fiscal years 23 through 24. Adopted a regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on October 4th, 2023. Uh, Mr. Chairman, here once again is Mr. Er, Director Browning. This uh, contract is specifically for the services that they, they uh, perform relative to the statewide adoption network. So they do home studies, et cetera, for, um, uh, for other permanency options, adoption being one. And so this is really just a continuation of that with a, a, a increase because of their responsibilities. Okay, thank you. Entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Second on the question. All in favor? Aye. Aye, thank you. Resolution 230254. Approving a professional service agreement. Be it resolved, the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County is hereby approved the professional service contract with Attorney George Mahalchik with the Office of Youth and Family Services for the fiscal year of 23. 2023. Adopted at a regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on October 4th, 2023. Once again, here is Director Browning. This is a continuation of a, guardian, a dependency guardian ad litem uh, agreement with Attorney George Mihalczyk who provides that service. Um, it is a required service in dependency. It's separate from custody, which is uh, uh, outside of the purview of Office of Youth and Family Services. Thank you. Questions for Bill? Entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Second on the question. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Resolution 230255. Approving the local share account grant submissions. Whereas Lackawanna County is interested in promoting economic development and revitalization within Lackawanna County, and whereas Lackawanna County is submitting grant applications to the Pennsylvania Department of Community Economic Development through the Monroe County Local Share Grant Program on behalf of various agencies as detailed in Attachment A. Now, therefore, be it resolved, the Lackawanna County Board of Commissioners hereby authorizes the chair of the Lackawanna County Board of Commissioners to sign and authorize all documents and accept any awards related to these Monroe County Local Share Account Grants on behalf of the above named entities and their respective projects. Adopted a regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on October 4, 2023. Mr. Chairman, here to answer any questions on that is our Economic Development Grants Manager, Sandy Pshinsky. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Um, this is the last, the last resolution for a collection of 31 applications um, that have been submitted to the state on behalf of the, um, the groups and agencies that have requested that Lackawanna County support their applications. This is basically just a pass through. That is correct, sir. Thank you. All right, I'll entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Uh, second on the question, all in favor? Aye. All right, thank you, Sand. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you. Uh, resolution 230257. 
authorizing an MOU with United Neighborhood Centers for the Bucktown Center. Be it resolved, the Board of Commissioners of the County of Lackawanna is hereby enter into, enter into a memorandum of understanding with United Neighborhood Centers of NEPA, 425 Alder, Alder Street, Scranton, Pennsylvania, 18505, and authorizes the submission and release of Act 137. Affordable housing program funds in the amount of $25,000 for the Bucktown Center located in the borough of Dunmore. And whereas the Act of one, Act 137 affordable housing program will provide funding to support the pr proposed senior development at the Bucktown Center located in the borough of Dunmore in cooperation with the United Neighborhood Centers and there and be further resolved that the Board of Commissioners of the County of Lackawanna does hereby authorize and designate the director of the Department of Planning and Economic Development to sign all documents and provide these Act 137 affordable housing program account funds and that the applicant United Neighborhood Centers is requesting the amount of $25,000 for the Bucktown Center project from the Act 137 affordable housing program account funds. <clears throat> After the regular meeting, the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on October 4th, 2023. Mr. Chairman, once again, here's, here's Ms. Napshinsky. Thank you. Um, this MOU, uh, it, it offers $25,000 as um, Chief Jeffers had stated um, for the development uh, to assist UNC with the development of the Bucktown Center. It's a, um, a senior housing development that is, is in progress in the 200 block of um, Drinker Street, I believe, I in Denmark. Thank you. Any questions for Sandy? Entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Second. Question. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Thank you. Thank you, you know, Sandy. Sandy. She. Resolution two three zero. One one more thing. I'll just be for, with saying why she's here. Um, you know, Sandy helps out all the municipalities, wow. all forty. Anytime they have grant questions, individuals, businesses. I mean, I don't know how you how you do what you do, but we, we really appreciate it, and I know everybody out there does, so thank she, you for what you do. That was a great job, there's no yep. question. Okay, resolution 230256. Ratifying the Pima grant applications for state and local cyber, cyber security grant program, whereas Lackawanna County is interested in securing Lackawanna County's network and data systems, and whereas Lackawanna County has submitted grant applications to the Pennsylvania Emergency Management <clears throat> Agency, and has provided consent to the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania to undertake the following acts in accordance with the federal fiscal year 2022 state and local cybersecurity grant program and the Commonwealth Cybersecurity Plan as approved by the Commonwealth's state and local cybersecurity grant program cybersecurity planning committee and approval by the United States Department of Homeland Security to receive the following number one, intrusion detection service, the MS. ISAC Albert Sensors Intrusion Detection Service System placed on government networks and monitored 24-7 to identify intrusion attacks, alert key personnel, work nationally on coordinated cyber attacks provided to counties in the Commonwealth at no cost to the counties, and two, security awareness service, COFENS, employee training on prevention of cyber system breaches and phishing and penetration testing services to be provided to those eligible LGEs that were solicited by the Commonwealth in its SLCGP baseline survey that responded to the survey at no cost to the LGEs. Three, the Commonwealth will provide with required matching funds 10% for fiscal year 2022 SLCGP award to eliminate any financial burden on the LGEs receiving these services, whereas Lackawanna County is an applicant to this program is hereby entitled as a local government entity to provide their consent because is in the best interest of the county and is provided without duress or fear of reprisal. And whereas Lackawanna County hereby authorizes the chair of the Lackawanna County Board of Commissioners to sign and authorize all documents except any awards related to these fiscal year 2022 SLCGP grant funds. And now therefore be it resolved that the Lackawanna County <coughs> Board of Commissioners is hereby authorized and ratify the submission of these applicants to the, F the fiscal year of 2022 state and local cybersecurity grant program on behalf of the above named entities and their respective projects adopted to regularly meet the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on October 4th, 2023. Here to speak upon that is our Chief Information Officer, Mr. Michael Brown. Good morning, Commissioners. Good morning. As previously mentioned, uh, this grant was brought to us um, by the Department of Economic Development and Sandy Opsinski, the grant manager, to let us know that this grant was available for us. 
to help protect the county for future attacks and part of an initiative from the CCAP organization to work with Pima to coordinate an effort of seeing what types of attacks are coming through to actually help prevent that from happening in the future. Mm -hmm. Also with the training portion of that will help the IT department to help our employees to be aware of types of attacks that come in and to do testing with us to make sure we're aware of not just clicking on certain types of emails that we see and there's gonna be a lot more spammy coming in as we approach this new um, election cycle. Thank you, Michael. Uh, our elections have been run very efficiently with your help and the election boards and the Bureau. Uh, I wanna thank you. I'll entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Yes. Question or a second on the question. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, resolution two three zero two five nine. Entering into an engagement letter, be it resolved, the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County is hereby accept and enter into an engagement letter with Highland Associates of Des for design and architectural services for the Lackawanna County Courthouse jury room relocation renovations in an amount not to exceed. $6,250 adopted regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on October 4th, 2023. Mr. Chairman, I, was, I met with Judge uh, President Judge Corbett and Judge Brace along with Frank Castellano uh, last Friday. Uh, as we go forward with the talking about renovations to the courthouse, they really are looking to move the jury pool room from the second floor of the courthouse to the first floor of the courthouse for security reasons. It's a safety issue, yeah. What this uh, agreement letter is going to entail is then drawing up some plans and then showing it to the judges and going it over with the judges as, as they see fit. Thank you. That's the space where the old... Yeah, they're looking at the old Central Court uh, processing center areas and, and taking down some walls, and, and they, they, they believe if uh, once they draw plans, they have to see if they can fit 100 um, chairs in there for jury selections. Yeah. Um, or a little bit more. Right now, currently in the old jury room, there's about 99 uh, chairs that are kind of on keep, top of each other, and they're using the hallway. It'll keep uh, 99 or 100 people from roaming around the. Yeah, courthouse. I mean, as we get into this day and age, uh, we're more, more secure wise, and, and, the, and you know, the sheriffs are all based on the first floor. I mean, obviously there are sheriffs upstairs, but their primary, uh, you know, uh, location is when they first come through the door. It makes more sense security wise to keep all civilians. That are don't need to be upstairs on the first floor. And and what, during COVID, know. it was extremely difficult to find space to. Uh, we used them, the, the cultural center at the time. Yeah, I mean, yeah, spread so them out in the right, theaters and stuff. Cost like a lot that. of money to uh, to do that, so this would be a, a step in the right direction. Correct. Chris? No, oh, I'm good. All right, I'll entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Second on the question. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Opportunity for the public to address the board. Joan Hodewan at Scranton. I'm gonna read a letter to the editor that I wrote and was published last Friday, and it concerns the county. Flood victims deserve a break from government. Editor, my parents' North Scranton home was condemned in November 1963 due to a mine subsidence. Homeless for the next seven months, we experienced extreme financial hardship. And even though our home was uninhabitable and beyond repair, we had to pay property taxes until the government bought us out in 1968. That's five years later. Homeowners who were devastated by the flooding on September 9th should not have to go through what we did. County, municipal and school district taxing authorities should exempt them from property taxes for as long as their homes are uninhabitable or until they are bought out. If they already paid the tax for 2023, they should receive a prorated rebate. Some will ask why we should give these people a break on their taxes. Shouldn't their insurance policies cover their losses? Not likely. Most insurance companies do everything they can to avoid paying a claim. Keep in mind that this flooding might have been avoided or at least greatly reduced 
if we had effective stormwater management, but we don't, and that is a subject for another day. Yes, we will lose some tax revenue, but only a pittance compared to the millions that are collected each year. But beyond that, there is one fundamental reason why we should give these homeowners a tax break. It is the right thing to do, and we all know it. I read this letter last night at Scranton City Hall for the council meeting, and city council is going to look into whether or not they can give tax relief to the homeowners who, re who have their property in Scranton. Um, but I, you know, it just appalls me. You, first of all, if you haven't lost property or a home to something like a mine cave or flood, you have no idea of the trauma these people are gonna go through and it's not gonna be short lived. And the financial hardship. Uh, can you imagine paying ta taxes on property that you're not allowed to enter for five years and you started out homeless? On top of that, we had to pay insurance in case somebody went on the property and got hurt. We got no help from the city, no help from the county, and certainly not the school district who told us, well, your kids are in school, they're getting a free education after all. Only one politician gave us even the time of day. It was a newly elected congressman. He was elected in 1962. You may recognize his name, Joseph McDade. So if you can at all give these people some tax relief, do it. And if you don't, shame on you. Thank you. Anyone else? No one? Okay, Commissioner's other business, Mr. Shermack. Uh, well, Joan, I agree with you. So it's certainly something that I would like to look into because per Oh, sorry. Now can you hear me? I say I agree with you, and uh, you know, personally I have some friends that are in that same situation, so um, I'd be interested to know if there's something we could do there because you're 100% right. Um, so we'll look into that, I will. And um, on another note, just want to remind everybody it's Italian Heritage Month this month. Um, we'll be putting the wreath at the uh, Columbus statue on Monday. Um, and uh, Sunday night is the Columbus Day dinner. There's tickets available, and um, I'm man of the year this year for Columbus Day Association, so hopefully hopefully we get a good turnout. So see you there, hopefully. Well, it's also your birthday today. Right? It's your birthday. Oh, yeah, well. And, uh, and actually, people don't realize your Italian heritage. No, they don't. So. Uh, they, they, they hear last name, and they just don't think of it. Shermack is definitely not Italian. Pardon me? Shermack is definitely not Italian. No, no. But, but uh, the rest of me is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Thank you, and happy birthday, and good Thanks. luck on Sunday night. And on that note, uh, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion. Second on the question. All in favor? Aye. Aye.